Hi, I'm Benjamin and this is the beginning of a series of videos in which I want to teach you how to use Relearn, one of my plugins for the Digital Audio Workstation Reaper. In this first video I want to shortly recap what Relearn is, how it compares to alternatives and why there has never been a better time to start using it. After all, many things happened since my introduction of Relearn 2 last year. If you want to dive directly into the tutorials, no problem, feel free to skip to the next video, which is about the installation process of Relearn. Okay, so Relearn is a controller integration plugin. That means you can use it whenever you have a controller at hand and you want to do something with it in Reaper. The controller can be a MIDI keyboard, a fader box, a control surface, an OSC app on your tablet or smartphone, a digital mixer, any device that communicates somehow via MIDI, MCU or OSC, or even your computer keyboard. As you may know, Reaper is not short of controller integration tools. There are surprisingly many options. The available ones can be roughly divided into two categories. Tools made for specific controllers and tools made for any controller. In the first category we have for example Tribune WebMOS or Reaper's built-in control surface options. They focus on providing out-of-the-box support for very specific controllers, usually without much room for customization. If they support your device and you are completely happy with the result, then that's cool and there's no need to look further. However, if a device is not supported or you want to use it in different ways, then you should have a look into the second category. Tools in the second category strive to support many kinds of controllers, even those that have not been built yet. By their very nature, they provide much more possibilities for customization. Relearn belongs to this second category, and a few others as well, most notably CSI. So why would you consider Relearn? In my opinion, Relearn sticks out for quite a number of reasons. For example, in addition to building setups in text form, it has a graphical user interface and a learn feature, so it's really easy and fast to set up ad hoc mappings. It's mature and now provides all features one would expect from a control surface integration tool. Visual feedback, hardware display support, banks, pages, pinning, conditional activation, cycling through tracks, switching mappings depending on which plugin is active, and so on. But Relearn is not just about integrating control surfaces, it's also about integrating MIDI keyboards, grid controllers and general purpose controllers. It provides a lot of features that make it very suitable for composition and live performances, such as in-project mappings, short press, long press, double press detection, continuous firing, MIDI filtering, MIDI OSC conversion, absolute to relative conversion, value snapshots, soft takeover modes, NRPN, SysAx, and most importantly, it plays nicely with the rest of your setup. It doesn't require exclusive access of your MIDI devices. Instead, it shares them with Reaper. In other words, Relearn is simply extremely versatile, and the possibilities are mostly limited by your creativity. On the soft skill side, it is under very active development, so if you miss a feature, just ask for it. Also, it's highly cross-platform. It works on Windows, Mac OS and Linux and even runs on Raspberry Pi. All in all, I think Relearn is a Swiss army knife among the controller tools, with more features than the rest. But don't take my word for it. Keep watching this series of tutorials and I think you will quickly see what I'm talking about. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified about new tutorial videos. Now stay tuned for my next video in which I will walk you through the installation process of Relearn.